Very often what may seem like a very small technical change can have a huge impact on the result of a specific stroke. And in this video, I want to show you what I mean by that. So some of you may have seen some of the videos where I'm playing my first competitions in over 10 years. And watching those matches back and studying what I was doing on the court, I saw that I was suffering from a bad case of open stance-itis on the forehand. And this is basically where I'm only using my open stance or the semi-open stance on the vast majority of my forehands. So in the last few weeks, I've been really working hard on changing that stance, making sure that I try to use that neutral stance as often as I can. Whenever I have the chance to step in, I'm trying to step in with that neutral stance. And I'm doing a lot of drills on the ball machine where I'm just working on that stance over and over again. Now when you hit thousands and thousands of balls in one way, such as me hitting my open stance forehand, it becomes the easy go-to shot. Even in the match where you have a short ball, I'm still hitting those open stance forehands. And that is actually costing me power and also that feeling of going through that shot and being more aggressive with my body. So I want to get rid of that. I want to feel like every short ball I have, I'm stepping in and I'm going into the shot with my body weight. And this is only possible by using that neutral stance. Now, before we go any deeper into this video, if you're serious about improving all aspects of your game, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit that notification bell. Now going back to the open stance, it's great for when you're playing on a clay court and you're dealing with the ball slightly higher or you want to produce that more aggressive topspin. This open stance allows you to load up the outside leg and drive upwards. And that's great for producing that aggressive spin. but it isn't so great for when you want to put your body weight into that shot. Now, in order to actually put the body weight properly into the shot, that neutral stance becomes the go-to forehand. And this is where you get that side-on position. And as you hit the shot, you're going from the back leg, you're loading up on the back leg, and then you're going onto the front leg before uncoiling the hips. So from a side-on position, it would look like this. Loading up on my right leg, stepping forward with my left leg, having the body weight transfer and then allowing the hips to uncoil. And that allows me to actually lean into the shot as I'm hitting it, transferring my body weight into that ball. That makes the shot much heavier, much more aggressive, but it also changes the swing. So by having that neutral stance, I'm actually producing a much flatter shot. I'm hitting it much more in that linear fashion. I'm extending more towards my target as opposed to with the open stance where I'm going more upwards with my racket head. <sighs> 
So just that small difference with my technique, using the neutral stand as opposed to the open stand, has allowed me to flatten out my forehand, produce a more aggressive shot, get more length on my ball, and make it much more of a heavy shot for my opponent to deal with. And as you can see, all of these outcomes have been achieved by me only focusing on one technical change, which was the neutral stance over the open stance. I wasn't consciously thinking about hitting the ball flatter. I wasn't thinking about extending my racket longer towards the target. I wasn't thinking about making my ball heavier. These were all byproducts of me simply thinking about stepping in and getting my body weight into that ball. So a small technical change can actually have a massive impact on your game, as you can see with my forehand. Now, if you want more help with your forehand, you can download our free guide, which is the five steps to hitting the perfect forehand. We cover inside there the grips, stances, the racket lag, the power position, and of course your contact point and follow through. So you can download that right away. I'll leave the link beneath this video. Now, if you've enjoyed this lesson, you want to see more videos like this in the future, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't done so already, and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on our future lessons. Signing off, Coach Simon from TTT. All the best and see you soon, guys.